Join me this week as I show you a simple way to make the dolls in your dollhouse or Barbie some bowls of ice cream or some ice cream to go on some cones. Alright, like I said in the intro, we're making ice cream today. Now first I'm going to preface this project with the, with the point that I know I've seen a lot of people doing polymer clay ice cream online on YouTube lately, but nobody's doing it the way I was taught to do it oh, oh so many years ago. This was one of the first things that I learned to do with polymer clay. And I've continued to use the same method all these years just changing the colors up from time to time and I still like it a lot better this is my preferred method so this is what I'm going to show you so for our clay because Fimo has Fimo vanilla that's what we're going to use we're going to make some nice rich vanilla ice cream out of vanilla colored clay I used to have to mix my clays to get this color so to make the ice cream itself, we need two things. We need our clay, and it needs to be really well conditioned. I've been, I ran it through the pasta machine. I've been kneading it here for a while. And we need sand. The sand needs to be in a color similar to your ice cream color. So if I'm doing a strawberry ice cream, I use pink sand. If I'm doing chocolate, I use brown. Then I use a brown clay, like maybe a... Um, Fimo chocolate with a little white in it, or maybe, um, I can't remember the color of, there's a color of Sculpey 3 that I really like, and a color of Primo also that I really like for chocolate. I'll try to put those colors in the blog post. Um, for strawberry, just pick a nice pink color, and um, again, I'll try to put some, some suggested colors in the blog post if I remember. But we just keep dipping it. And this sand that I'm using today for white sand, I buy this in the garden center. And it's the kind of sand that you put like in the top of a flower pot when you've got like cactuses or something. And we're going to work as much sand into this clay as we can. For the colored sand, I go to the craft store over where the kids crafts are. There's usually sand art sand and it usually comes in small packages and it's not very expensive. And those small packages will last you a long, long time. But we are just going to continue to work this. I remember the first time I made it, I made ice cream this way. It was from a magazine article. And I had my magazine in, in front of me and my clay. And it was like, this was one of the first things I learned to do. And I was so excited because it was so easy. We're just going to keep dipping this in. Because this is um, garden sand, it has uh, garden center sand, it has some little dark specks in it, so I try to avoid those if I can, but if they get in here, that's okay. They can be picked out if they look obnoxious when we get ready to make our ice cream. We're just going to keep working. And this does a lot for you. This The sand forms the texture. You don't have to work as hard to make texture this way. And there's no need to where sand is completely, you know, it's completely compatible here. It's not going to ruin your clay. Like I said, I've still got some of the ice cream I made 20 plus years ago doing this. but you'll start seeing that the I, this clay starts to look a little more ice cream like. And I just dip it in and work it in. Just keep working this way. Now be sure also to check the blog post. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why we're not working on the crib yet. We will get back to that crib project. I will dress the crib here soon. I just haven't found fabric I liked at all. 
and hopefully you're noticing we have better lighting for the videos because while I was on my break I made a light stand for my video lights and um, I did a blog post on that so if you go to the blog you can find that that's up to you how much of this you want to work in I'm gonna keep going just a little bit more because this is still feeling just a little bit sticky so I tell I can get a little more sand in there okay now I'll probably do that's up to you you know however much you want to put in now we're just gonna make a small ball now you could do this for either Barbie or dollhouse I haven't tried this for the 18 inch dolls yet so I don't know if this is going to work for them or not I've got some sand on my tray here poke in and now we need, let's see if I can get, oh, wrong way. I noticed on a couple of other videos, I'm not the only one that goes the wrong way trying to get closer. Oh, this is my broken dental pick. Other one's over here. Oh, I'll use this instead. I broke my favorite dental pick a while back. Now I'm just going to kind of pull it down. This is the part that I see most of the ice cream I'm seeing made lately. They only do with the tool. They don't work the, the sand in and get that nice head start on the texture. I'm going to have to pause while I find my dental okay. pick. Okay, now I got the dental pick. We're just going to just work it down. It's up to you how much you want to texture your ice cream. That's probably kind of hard to see on the white tile. Let's see if I can make a ball. Let's see if I can do this on my finger. Let's see, is that going to be? I'll do a little bit bigger size, actually. I know what we'll do. Bring this up because this will bring it closer to the camera. And I'll put some blue tape on there. Just going to make a surface that we can actually see a little better. There. Now, maybe you'll stand a chance of seeing what I'm doing better. Actually, since it's kind of lost all its texture, I'm going to roll it back in the sand, kind of push it down onto the surface, and kind of pull. And by having the sand in there, it just adds a little more texture to the ice cream, and you can make it look as as melted or not as you desire. It's up to you. Um, you can make it a little more round. Let's see if I can... Are we in focus? Kind of work just the pick in. But that could go onto an ice cream cone that way. So I am going to make a few more pieces, little balls of ice cream here, and then I'm going to bake them off, and I'll come back and we'll make us. Oh, let's first let me show you what I'm going to put one of them in. We're going to make a sundae in this little dish. I think I showed you dishes like this on a um, trash to treasure video a while back. And this would be nice size for Barbie too. This is probably more Barbie than dollhouse, but it's easier to show this size. Let's get it up where you can see it a little better. I'm out of practice videotaping, like not like I was actually, you know, an expert before. And get a few more pieces.
pieces of sand on there. And there we go. So I'm going to bake all these ice creams off and some more off and then I will all be right. back. So we've got our ice cream all baked off and uh, cooled off. It's important to let it cool. So I think they look like nice little bowls of like a French vanilla ice cream. Very yummy on a hot day. So, but what's vanilla ice cream without chocolate syrup? At least that's my feeling. I gotta have chocolate syrup. Let's back up, whoops, wrong way. Back up just a little bit and get my chocolate sauce ready here. For chocolate sauce, you saw me, you've, you've saw me? You've seen me use this before. I almost always use Scribbles 3D paints. They're a fabric paint. They're sold near the t-shirts at most craft stores in the US. I'm not sure about other countries. Um, but there, I covered these on my uh, paint video not too long ago too, I think. I think I did. But anyway, this is my preferred chocolate sauce. It's a good color. And one of the things I like, I know a lot of people do use the liquid clays to make chocolate sauce or other mm -hmm. sauces. And I just don't like them for a couple of reasons. Number one, sometimes I want to embed things in my sauce at the top that I don't want to be baking. If I'm going to put an item on a plastic plate, for instance, I wouldn't want to do that. Also, I like the fact this doesn't need to be glazed. If you make a sauce out of a liquid clay, most of the time it's going to turn out a very dull color in the end. This is all shiny. This has a perfect shine on it when it's dry. So, we have chocolate sauce. I'll let these dry and then I'll get some pictures. But I'm sure the dolls are going to really, really like a bowl of vanilla ice cream with some chocolate sauce on it in this hot weather. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you haven't found us on Facebook, be sure and hop over there and find us. The link is below. It's also on the blog. Be sure and check out the blog post because I'll put some extra notes about what colors of clay I suggest for other colors of ice, other flavors of ice creams. And come back next time and see what we make then. Bye. <laughs>